Hello guys, welcome to YBOFR, the channel with news, tips and free training. Today we will talk about managing services in Odoo V9. There are quite a high number of changes done in Odoo V9. One of the most important is that the sales order stays editable even after the confirmation. This may suit some and make others unhappy, but there are good reasons for this. Of course, if this does not suit you, you can still create a module that will block editing after confirmation. And I'm sure plenty of this module will emerge soon. For the newly created process of managing the services, it was necessary to allow the addition of confirmed order. And I can assure you that all service companies will love this new feature. So let's jump on the demo. I create a service product as I create it, a new field appears and this field is called track service. And also the field invoicing policy used not to be on the form product form, but now it is and for a very good reason. In the invoicing policy, I can define how I will invoice my service based on sales order, based on what was delivered or time and material. We will see the first two invoicing methods in the demo. The other element is the track service. This is very new. It tells you how you're going to track the services delivered. Will it be manually or via timesheet? Or will you create a task and track hours on the task? First, let us have a look at the invoicing policy. I set the invoicing policy to order it and save my product. Now I can create a sales order. I want to sell some units of my service. I enter the quantity and I save and I can confirm. When I confirm, you see that the create invoice button became blue. It means that this is the standard process. Of course, if it's still active, you can use it. It's just not the standard process. So I press the button and select invoice, invoiceable lines and see there the system has created an invoice for the quantity I gave before. So now let us change the invoicing policy to delivered. And here I also want to say manual tracking because in my case, we do not track the service delivered in Odoo. So I save the product. I create a new sales order with this new product. I save the sales order and I confirm. Now I have executed a certain number of units of the service. I can go back to the sales order and I can manually change the field delivered quantity to the quantity I delivered in total. So now you also see the system is expecting you to invoice and the create invoice button became blue. So I click on the create invoice button and I see the quantity that I delivered in the invoice. If I do this multiple times, I always need to give the total numbers of units delivered and the system is automatically going to create a difference invoice. So if I already have de delivered two, I have invoice two, I delivered in total five, the system is going to create me an invoice for three. The last example I want to show you is I create a product, but I change the track to create a task in project. If I specify a project, the system will automatically create a task in the project. But if I leave it empty, the system is going to create a project and a new task when I confirm the sales order. Okay, 
I create a sales order. I enter my new product, save the sales order and search now in the project for the task. You see, I cannot find the task nowhere. It has not yet been created. So let us go back and now we can confirm the sales order and check that the task has really been created. Now I can go in the task and add a few hours that I have been working on this very task. I save it and when I go back to the sales order, you can see that the hours delivered are automatically updated. So it's very, very convenient to see this directly on the sales order. You don't need to think and discuss with people or put together invoices to know exactly how much you have, you have already invoiced. Everything is visible on the same screen. So of course, Odoo invoicing for services goes much further than that, but it was just to give you small information about what is new and all the service company that were not sure if they want to move to Odoo version 9 can be reassured that with the Odoo version 9 it's going to be much easier for them to manage invoicing. That was it for today. I hope you enjoy the show. To get more out of Odoo, check out our Udemy trainings. <laughs>